Another weekend of foot champions is coming up. So I'm going to be showing you guys all of the formations and tactics that I'm hitting 20 and O's with on a weekly basis. If you want your foot champs played, link in the description. Subscribe, leave a like if you're new as well. And let's get into the tactics. Hope you enjoy. If you want the cheapest FC24 coins to get ahead of the competition, check out MMO EXP by clicking the link down below and use code JAMBU for 5% off. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the custom tactics that I am using. There's different uh, formations and stuff for different scenarios. Make sure you stick around for the instructions as well. You want to get this right and really give yourself the best chance of getting the top reward. So this is my team. I don't often use my own account anymore. I play on other people's. Link in the description uh, if you want the best ranks in Ultimate Team. But let's have a little look at the tactics. So first off, we have a 352. Honestly, this is probably the one I use the least. Um, it's a very good versatile formation, you know, if you have the right players and stuff, as you can see, uh, you know, you have your wide players, um, you can use fullbacks, attackers, doesn't really matter. Uh, you want a five star, five star, if possible at cam. <clears throat> I always think that's super important, uh, just because like cutbacks are so strong in this game and you don't want to cut the ball back to a player who then shoots on like a three star weak foot. Uh, you just want pace, good finishing up front. I've got Salah on the right because he cuts in uh, with that gold finesse plus play style. Um, I've scrapped the idea of CDMs. You know, we just have box-to-box -box midfielders these days. Um, if you do struggle with your defending, you can throw a CDM in there. Uh, but it's not going to be quite as fluid in the attack. But you can see um, for the actual tactics, we've got the 71 depth, direct passing, Six players in the box. You guys can see the tactics there. And that is the 3-5-2, which is sort of a formation you just start games with. It's pretty good defensively and offensively. We then have the 4-2-3-1. This is definitely a formation to start games in. In my opinion, probably the most balanced formation in foot. You will notice uh, that I'm using 71 depth on basically every tactic. It's just the meta. Uh, you want to be using that. Once you get used to having the higher defensive line and dealing with that, uh, you see the benefits. You know, this 71 depth press is absolutely broken and you're probably doing yourself a disservice if you're not using it. Direct passing, 60, six players in the box. Same principle again. Uh, this is definitely a formation where you can get away with using uh, an actual CDM that can't really attack. But for me, especially the way I like to play in champs, I like to get on the front foot get the attacks flowing so two box to box players for me same thing you know we have the five star five star player in the middle we've got a player who can cut in and finesse and then we've got a very good traveller player in Griezmann so that's the sort of stuff you want to look out for uh, you've got Griezmann who's insane at the traveller shot Salah who has the gold finesse plus and up front the pace uh, the five star weak foot and skills Usman isn't the best striker uh, due to his shooting and just end products in general being a little bit all over the place, but <clears throat> he's definitely pretty meta, you know, with the skills, pace, dribbling, that sort of stuff. Your fullbacks are going to stay back uh, in this formation, and it's super important in this one in particular because you've got enough attacking options, and it just plays a lot better actually not having... The balance attack. So stay back while attacking. Uh, we've got come back on defense, get into the box for cross, stay forward, get into the box for cross on the cam, get in behind and stay forward on the striker, and then just cut passing lanes and cover center on the CDMs. I think I forgot to show you the instructions for the 3 5 2. Uh, that is come back on defense, stay wide on the wide players, cover center, stay forward. Then get in behind, stay central, and stay forward on the strikers for that. So then moving on, this is the formation I actually start and use probably the most. It is the 4-3-2-1. Just so good. Um, it has been for the last couple of years now. 71 depth again, balanced, direct passing, six in the box. The thing with this one is you create so many overloads in the attack that it makes it impossible uh, for your opponent to actually defend you. It is just like... It's just crazy, like, how good it is going forward. You've got the through ball options. You can play through the middle. You've got the overlapping fullbacks. You pack the midfield with three players. It's just so, so good. Uh, so stay central, get in behind. 
Uh, I may sound like a broken record for those of you that have heard me say this a million times, but you want to defend in a 4-4-2 in this formation. So on one of your wide forwards, you want come back on defence. Whichever side you pick for that, you want that sided centre mid to cover centre, as well as the middle centre mid cover centre. I have the middle one stay back as well. And then I like to throw in just a normal attacker, not even a midfielder, into one of the wide centre mid spots. So I've got Griezmann there. Perfect for the Travellers. Uh, you could use Messi there, that sort of player. Works absolutely fine. Uh, the other side, wide forward, stay central, get in behind. So you're going to defend with this guy, you know, as a right mid. And then Griezmann will end up out on the left mid with your two centre mids here, just when defending. Uh, you then want balanced and overlap. You cannot use this formation properly, in my opinion, without the overlapping fullbacks. The reason I have just Militao on stay back it's because he's more of a liability going forward. But in an ideal world, you have two, you know, fullbacks, say Hakimi and Tio Hernandez, and you'd have both of them on balanced and overlap. That is the way that you want that formation to work. But this is the one I'd go for, especially if you like playing an attacking style. It's just super, super effective. And of course, you want an all-out attack setup. This is super important. People are absolute rats in foot champs. I go with the 3-4-2-1. Just because on paper, look how attacking that is. You've basically got five forwards, two midfielders, and only three at the back. So it's the most attacking you can actually get. Um, you're going to want, of course, that constant press, 100 depth, fast build-up, forward runs. Um, I have this on seven players in the box, just because you don't actually want your centre-backs going forward. They're more of a liability than an actual help. And then five on the corners and free kicks, of course. Fast build-up, forward runs, all that stuff. And... You'd be amazed at how many people don't have a constant press tactic just set up and rely on pause in the game. You can't do that because these guys in foot champs, they're absolute rats. They're going to keep the ball all game, not let you get your pause. And you need to be able to switch there and then. So make sure you get this set up. Um, it's basically just everyone on getting behind. Um, you've got the midfielders there as well on cover centre. You are obviously going to concede opportunities in this, but it's your best chance of actually winning the ball back high and creating a chance. The amount of options you get on the ball when you win it back in this setup is absolutely outrageous. You're going to effortlessly win the ball back, and it's your best chance of actually getting into a game. You've got no fullbacks or anything like that. It's just everybody flying forward except for the free centre-back. So hopefully this helps you guys out. If it does, I would appreciate a like on the video as always. Subscribe for the best custom tactics on YouTube, in my biased opinion. And comment below if you have any questions. Good luck in your weekend league. Let me know what you get. And peace.